Good day to everyone! In this lesson we will create the 2D truss in LiraFem. Our tasks in this lesson are to create geometrical model of 2D truss and to set stiffness and restraints. So, we have such initial data. Cross sections of truss elements is double angle. Top cord support web is 100 by 100 by 7. Bottom cord is 75 by 75 by 6. Web is 63 by 63 by 6. Schematic presentation of the truss is shown on the figure. Now open LiraFem and create new problem. Right name truss 24 meters. Choose model type first, because in our case it is not necessary to consider the bending moment to analyze a 2D truss. Click OK. Now create the geometrical scheme. Click the command Create Truss. Select by shape of the cord polygonal gable, the second one in the left column. Then select by web of the truss, select the first one in the right column. Put the parameters of the truss. Length of the truss is 24 meters. Height from bottom cord to reach is 2.65 meters. Height of the panel is 1.6 meters. Number of panels is 8. We do not specify angle of slope, since we have already specified the height of the reach of the truss. In our case, rotation of truss over axis Z equals zero, since we are creating a problem with the first model type of the scheme, where rotation around the Z axis is not provided and our truss cannot extend out of the X or Z plane. If we specify angle of rotation, for example 90, truss will be created, but analysis will not be performed. Click the button Draw to preview our truss. Press Apply. If in your case there is no truss, don't press Apply multiple times. Check number of nodes and elements in the status bar. If number of elements is 49 and number of nodes is 26, do a double click on the central mouse button or change projection. Navigation in Model. If you want to rotate your model, click right mouse button. If you want to zoom, scroll the central button of the mouse. If you want to move, press and hold central mouse button. If you want show all, double click central button of the mouse. So let's return to our truss. Save your project. Click the button save, write the name of your project and click save. Let's assign boundary conditions restraints to our truss. Click the button Restraints. First of all, click the button Flex of Drawing. Select second tab Nodes and put the flag Shows or Highs in Largest Nodes. To select node, activate command Select Nodes and after that click on the node or select it with frame. In the left node set rigid support XZ. Click the button Add restraints at selected nodes. Now select the right node. Set rigid support Hinge. Only Z. Click the button Add Restraints at selected nodes. Let's assign stiffness. Click the button Material Properties and in the window Stiffness and Materials click Add. Here there are five tabs. The first is standard types of sections. In general, this tab is used for enforced concrete sections. The second tab is the database of steel sections. 
The third is database of aluminium sections. Fourth is database of steel reinforced concrete sections. And fifth is database of plate and solid finite elements and there are a lot of numerical stiffness, etc. We will work with the second tab. Select double angle with double click. On the first tab components select profile, assortment list. Select equal leg angles. If in this list you can find necessary assortment, you can add it yourself. Select section 100 by 100 by 7. Write the command top chord. If you want, you can select the color. I select blue color, click OK. On the second tab stiffness, we see physical geometrical parameters of selected section. You see the automatically calculated parameters of angles. It can be edited if it is necessary. You can yourself change some parameters or with the help of coefficient. Click OK. Select first type of stiffness and press copy button three times. If in your case you have in current order of positions, click renumber list in ascending order with no missing number. Select second type of stiffness from the list and press edit button. Change command to support web. Select green color. We don't change the profile. Click OK. We create two same types of stiffness for the convenience of working with the selected sections. Select third type of section. Click Edit. Select angle 75 by 75 by 6. Write command button chord. Select crimson color. and click OK. Select force type of section. Click Edit. Select angle 63 by 63 by 6. Write comment web. Select yellow color. Click OK and click OK to close window. So, now let's assign types of stiffness. First of all, we have to set stiffness type that we are going to assign as current. Current stiffness type is shown on the stiffness field. Now stiffness type is active. Click the button Select Element. Select elements of top chord by a green frame, from the left to the right. Click Apply. Set the second position to the current one. Click on the left support web and on the right support web. Click Apply. Set the third position to the current one. Select the button chord from the left to the right. Click Apply. Set the fourth position to the current one. Select with a frame all the elements of the web from the right to the left. Unselect support webs from both sides. Click Apply. To check the assigned stiffnesses, click the button Mosaic Plot of Properties of Current Tab. You see such mosaic plots with percentage. To see more detail labels, press the button Flex of Drawing. Select four step materials and put the flag Shows or Highs detailed labels for ranges on mosaic plots for stiffness. Click Apply. Don't forget to save your project and see in the next lesson.